my sub followers. This might be the last video. I mean, it will be for 2021, whatever the year is, 2021, because who knows if I will ever do this again. But so sad. This could be the last time that you see a video of me vlogging in Walmart. So I thought I would give you some what I have learned about Walmart tips or fun facts. First of all, because Walmart is like so cheap and because everything is low prices, I have noticed that, I mean, you probably could have told me this beforehand, but because it is, everything is low priced, like everything's low quality. And so, I don't know. People just get really mad if anything is expensive, even if it's like less expensive than other places. And I feel like people just are crabbier and I don't know, just crabbier. I feel like, especially employees, since the stuff that's here is low quality, I think that the way that um, cashiers and other employees are treated is low quality. <laughs> Um, I mean, I think I had a bad taste in my mouth of what, um, yeah, of like what Walmart is and as a store, what they represent. And I think people are like shocked to see like me and other college students here um, because it just seems like a certain mold that... Um, the other employees like fill which is like sad um but they're just like oh are, you must be a college student or like you're here for a different reason than like this is the rest of your life so I don't know I think it's it definitely has opened my eyes to treating like everybody really well even like a Walmart worker who I'm frustrated with that may not like be really kind but it's probably because they haven't been treated well and there's probably a reason why they work at Walmart the rest of their life so I don't know it has given me a lot of compassion and empathy um, towards people that I'm not like around a lot and I think especially with customers it I have seen the entire spectrum of like people who are very wealthy that are coming here on vacation and they buy everything the price doesn't matter like they'll get it regardless and then there are people that like are they don't even have like pennies to pay for their stuff um so I think it has opened my eyes a lot to what for like what to I don't know just people that I may not have seen or interacted with um and like how some people just have it harder than others and I don't know it's just giving me a lot of compassion um for others and so I think I have learned Here's my verse today. <laughs> but I think I've just learned that give people grace and like literally treat them how I would want to be treated. Like the customers that like get super frustrated with me and are really impatient, I'm like, I don't want to give you any patience or like I don't want to be patient with you at all or give you anything like kind or be nice or anything. I just want to be like, sorry, sir, keep going. And yeah, so anyways, I just feel like the standard or the bar is really high when people don't treat you well and so I want to treat people well and treat them better so those are a couple things I think I also would give Walmart more credit they actually have a lot of things that I would buy like their clothes I would have told you before never I would never buy anything but they actually have really great stuff and some of the stuff I'm like wow that's really cute and I know a lot more things that I would come to Walmart for instead of I don't know Just aimlessly searching in different stores like Walmart has a lot of stuff um, so it's been weird to work in like a big business corporation like this that's all over the world that makes so much money they make like millions on the weekends because of how many customers come in and it's so busy so I will not miss it I may miss it a little bit but I really don't think I will <laughs> It has been a job and nothing really beyond that. I have been very humbled because I feel like that's the biggest thing the Lord has done is just humbled my heart or humbled me in so many ways because 
yeah, I don't know whether I think I deserve it one way or deserve to be paid more or think that I'm entitled and that I work harder than other people and so then therefore I should get paid more. But like getting paid the least out of like everybody that works here and having to work like right under 40 hours a week and having to work really fast because you're trying to get through the customers really fast instead of like stalking when nobody's like watching you and there's no pressure. It's just, it was hard for me not to compare myself. So I'm better off for working here. It is very humbling <laughs> uh, to work somewhere where people don't treat you well and where they have just like a little Walmart's like kind of trashy type of opinion. And I think that that's how they treat the people that work here, which is sad. Um, so I don't know, give people a shot and treat them as you want to be treated and love them like the Lord would or the Lord does regardless of how they treat you or how they look. So those are my tips. I'm in the baby aisle because I've been there so much and I'm excited to meet Luke Booker still. <laughs> um, but I leave tomorrow morning. So I have some friends from Bethel coming tonight and I'm so excited to see them, Bryn and Audra and Asha and Signe. So I'm excited to see them tonight and then tomorrow I leave and I am in Abby's wedding on Saturday. So I'm excited for that. Um, so it's been a wonderful summer. I'm going to make a highlight video probably of pictures and stuff that you all can see. I'm truly so grateful for your support and for praying along the way and for financially supporting me and yeah, the Lord has been so kind to give me so many people in my life that have been willing to support me and walk alongside me and encourage me. Your texts of the things that you love in my videos have been really funny to receive. And yeah, I'm so grateful that you all are interested in my life. And I'm, I am just seriously so grateful. And it is exciting for me to come home and see you all. So I love you all so much and I'm so grateful. It's been a wonderful summer. Walmart, thank you for following along, followers. I'm excited to tell you all about it when I get home. But those are my Walmart takeaways, and hope you all have a great day. I will keep the vlogs up for a few more days, probably. But love you all. Like and subscribe.